I'm tired of repeating I told you so. For so many years, I've been pointing out at Putin's activities in Russia, in neighboring countries, former Soviet Union, in Europe, predicting that he would go elsewhere if he could see potential benefits. Uh, the whole industry of fake news, supported by troll factories, that was invention of KGB in Russia to deal with Russian opposition, to control the internet. Then they extended this practice to uh, Russian-speaking neighborhoods in the former Soviet Union. Then they tried it in Europe, and eventually they successfully tried it in the United States. It's quite, an, quite of, uh, uh, of ironic that uh, uh, that um, technology that is has been invented in the free world is being used by the enemies of the free world to undermine the democratic institutions that make the core of the of, of the free world. But uh, unless we just recognize that we are, whether we like it or not, at war, you may call it hybrid war, uh, um, a KGB type war, because it's not an open war, but it's, it's, it's a cyber war. And uh, we have to come up with the comprehensive response. We have to work out uh, um, a policy of deterrence to make sure that all these abusers uh, all those who, uh, who are trying to attack our infrastructure, whether it's, it was fake news or even, even worse, looking for potential weaknesses in the electric grid system, uh, they, will, they will pay unbearable price. And so far, there's no political will to make such a strong ultimatum that will stop Putin and, and, and other malicious players on the world stage from trying uh, the patience of the free world. Should these platforms, though, where this, this interference happened, have done more? Should the likes of Mark Zuckerberg at Facebook have done more, Jack Dorsey at Twitter? Absolutely. I, uh, but it's, you can only blame them because we know that not later than July 2016, Obama had at his desk information about Russian interference. And if U.S. government decided to play a very passive role, expecting, uh, uh, I guess, Hillary Clinton to win anyway, so you can hardly blame Facebook and Twitter and Google or just other other platforms not doing their job. Though I'm not, you know, uh, totally exonerating them. I think now it's time actually just to analyze what's happened and come up with with, with a full story. It's uh, Facebook is trying to actually give us the the, 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 the full picture. We, we now understand the scope of Russian interference, but it's it's it, it's it's not about just you know uh, saying oh pointing fingers who did wrong, but it's about the future. It's about making sure that nothing like that that can be repeated, and also the, those who are responsible will, be, will, will pay the price. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.